Main system. Engaging combat mode. Easy weekend. Go. Oh. Historic data recovery. Hmm. No ba- wait, 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 wait. No base pay. <laughs> Oh boy. Gotta earn. Really gotta earn that money. Raven, I have a personal request to ask you. It's about the Angabret Tunnel, which is to be shut down after it was hit by a coral surge. I want to go there and survey the area. Were we there already? Even before the coral surge, that place had been all but abandoned. It's an old structure dating far back into the colonization of Rubicon. There must be items of interest from throughout the planet's history there. As I'm sure you're aware, I have no resources with which to pay you. But I can propose an alternative. If you find any wrecks left by the PCA, you should try accessing them. Both the corporations and the Rubiconians are gathering data on PCA technology. Whatever you collect, I can exchange for credits and transfer the funds to you. She's providing services. I've taken a few liberties. Walter thinks you've gone on a geological survey. Oh. Thank you for doing this for me, Raven. Well, it is a kind of survey, I suppose. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. I've already located several wrecks that we should be able to recover data from. I'll send the marker data. I thought... Yeah, we we were here before, right? I thought that the uh, that coral surge would have destroyed just about everything in, that's contained within. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty damaged. Uh, would anything even survived? Like the environment's pretty okay. ACs get destroyed, everything else is left alone, generally go oh, well. Wow. Oh. So just, I, I guess it just repopulated with uh I just got repopulated with machines. It almost seems like that coral surgeon didn't actually do anything. It's just to kick you out. Coral is able to conduct data and can influence digital equipment. The effects of the coral surge must have brought some of the wrecks back online. Huh. Let's see what we can find. Well, this area is a lot more scuffed, I suppose. Like the the things we could use as bridges are gone. getting paid for destroying things. And here you find out that you missed a hidden part. <laughs> Thank you. 
don't suppose this area opened up anymore, right? I guess that faster access time is, uh, operator is actually helping me now. <laughs> I don't have to wait so long. Next data extracted from a wreck. The lost auto transcription for a voice log reported by Professor N Nagai, the Rubicon Research Institute director. No, the coral tide is rising at an abnormal rate. This resonance is just some kind of mutation. Run the calculations. How much time do we have? 47 hours, 2 minutes, 16 seconds. We still have time. Deploy IBIS. According to the timestamp, this was recorded two days before the fires of IBIS. This seems to be about the warning signs of the calamity, right before it struck. There's more. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, this is terrible. How do they do that? It's like a cloud of electrical... That was a lot of damage for no gain. None of these were here before. Lane's writings. Here's to come from the writings of Thumb Domain. Father of the Liberation Front. How long has it been since I first saw her voice? Fear not, she said. There will always be plenty. She told me this as I was imbibing Rubicon's blessings one fateful day. If I were you, I'd never allow this, I replied. I was forever ashamed by my deceit. Uh, whose voice? Something, some kind of this choral connection? This seems to be a recording of Domayan, the Liberation Front's ideological leader. But this appears to be something exceptionally personal. How come you don't mark, like, files for me to gather in normal missions? <laughs> it would help so much. Let's 
see something. Yeah. Stupid. AP at fifty percent. That was very, very stupid. <laughs> there were plenty of places for me to stand. But no, I have to hover over the bottomless pit and run out of energy. Yeah, again, like, uh, the Coral Surge doesn't seem to have actually destroyed that much of the tunnel from the last time we were here. to you in Pile Bunker. Well, I screwed that up. Alright. Wow, that's a lot down there. What are they doing here anyway? Why so horrible? Block this time, I see. This data should some light on the composition of the enforcement squads. That's useful, I think. Look at our handiwork. <laughs> Now we can go deeper.
Professor Nagai's log number two. Lost auto transcription from a, for a voice log recorded by Professor Nagai, the Rubicon Research Institute director. System number one has lost his mind. His research has utterly consumed him. Granted, there may be some logic to see pulse sensory augmentation of human subjects, but no ethical scholar would ever dare cross that point in no return. Mankind is driven mad by possibilities. What does Coral represent if not sheer potential? Hmm. This is about the first augmented humans. The same coral technology that created you. Several generations but different, but it, yeah. We never would have made contact. I'm not picking up any more data stores. If this outing has made you think about Rubicon's past or the nature of coral, then it was all worth it. It's also money, but yeah, <laughs> for for selling the da the data. Oh. <laughs> Selling, selling people's data. Hmm. Eh. Data sale proceeds from air. That was a quick mission. Now we get some important stuff, right? We got ourselves a deal, Handler Walter. Michigan. So, Archibus met us halfway. I gave them the heavy warship fleet. In exchange, Balaam's in charge of putting down the beast. They also offered some top Vespers. <laughs> Guess they don't trust us. Better than nothing. I'll provide what support I can, too. Yeah, you're mad scientists. Uh. r &D or whatever. And that hound of yours. Michigan. Don't underestimate 621. That hound always delivers. Because if he doesn't deliver, he dies. I was like, what other support does he provide? And then he mentions R.E.D. I was like, oh. What kept you, 621? You're a famous mercenary now. Time to act like one. This next mission's all or nothing. Of course. Make sure you attend the briefing. We're going worm hunting, right? Oh. Stun needle launcher. Interesting. Thanks, Archibus. Oh. <laughs> It appears I actually need to equip this. It's mandatory. Hmm. I think. What if I take off the plasma rifle? That help? Yes, yes, that does help. Okay. Uh, should I keep my vertical launcher? I, I, I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> what I could do actually is. Buy the 10 cell missile launcher, put it for my left side instead.
All right. Destroy the Ice Worm concludes chapter. All right, we're finally finishing chapter three. Destroy the Ice Worm, a massive weapon deployed by the PCA. Archibus will provide a prototype weapon to ensure a breach of the Ice Worm's coral shielding. Okay, yeah, they p provided it to me beforehand, and I'm supposed to equip it beforehand. <laughs> I, wonder if it, uh, I wonder if it warns you doing if you've tried to enter without it. Is it actually mandatory? Huh. I don't know. Listen up, 621. This will be a joint operation led by Balaam and Archibus. The briefing's about to start. I want you to attend. Don't I always? First, some background before we go into detail. The intercorporate ceasefire is now in effect, and we will be carrying out coordinated attacks against the PCA. The targets are the enemy-occupied bases, the heavy warship fleet, and the recently activated... I'll cut to the chase. This is an all-out war against the PCA in theaters across Rubicon. And you all got the short end of the stick. You're here to take on the worst of our dirty work, hunting the beast of the ice field. Sure thing, Chief. Tell you what, I'll watch and let you know how badly that goes for us. Gun 5, you just volunteered yourself for the front line. Moving on, let's talk about how we're going to neutralize the Ice Worm's Coral Shield. You'll be dealing with a layered barrier made up of a primary and a secondary shield. Archibus will provide the means to break the first layer. The state-of-the-art stun needle launcher. Aim for the face, and it will deliver results, I assure you. Did you test it? What about the second layer? RAD's cooked up just the thing. <laughs> a neat little toy we call the Overed Rail Cannon. Overed. If we divert the spaceport standby power to the ORC, it should hit hard enough, assuming we land the shot. You can leave that to me. I know a thing or two about sharpshooting. Hell yeah, Rusty. I'll oversee Big operations guy. on the ground. A ragtag crew like this needs leadership. Oh, we're actually gonna see him in, in the field. We can nice. use some more suppressive fire. Yeah, chatty. I'll send chatty. That just leaves the question of who will be taking charge of the stun needle launcher. I know just the volunteer to go poke that beast with a stick. Gun 13, you get all that? Good, time for another field trip. You're not coming? I guess, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe he's gonna be doing the... The warship stuff, right? I think I think that's what they said beforehand. Not sure. Okay, so like it is part it is part of the mission description, but it do they do they say it's mandatory to equip it? It's not every day you see competing forces working together like this. Now we're never six two one. Gonna get eaten by a sandworm, except in the ice field. It's time, 621. You ready? This mission depends upon you, Raven. Shots. This is V4 Rusty. Rail cannon is good to go. Don't die before I get a chance to fire, buddy. Huh. Tourist, got a message from the chief for you. Enjoy the show, and don't forget to smile. Got it. 
I can't hear her, so she's just telling me that, right? Energy turbine output at 80%. Like, confirming the hit. Of course he did. You should have brought more repair kits, dude. Damn. Yeah, we lost like two allies. Repair kits. Ah, uh, that sucks. <laughs> Damn it! The mission's a failure. All you I was hoping I was hoping that shot would, would uh get it before it got me. Uh, that took way too much damage early on. Well, gotta do that again.
detecting EML modules. Opening energy turbines. Output at 80%. Sighting correction A-OK. -okay. 90, 95. Bowser didn't say anything. Looks oh. like things just took a nasty turn. I'll set the ORC to maximum output. We can't afford to lose control of the situation. This next shot will be my last. <laughs> of course. How do they skip their ACs? All emergency valves closed. <laughs> you need the whole the whole power system of an entire country to power this. It looked like it was falling towards me, <laughs> which would have been bad, right? It's finally over. The blast will contaminate the area. Get out of. <sighs> Coral voices. Lost again. Raven. There's something I have to tell you. The Coral. It's my family. My brothers and sisters. I am but a single wave. 
born from the coral tide. I'm a Baconian without a body. No one even knew I was there for such a long time. Raven, you're the only one who... I wanted to say something about Tokyo 3, but eh. too much effort. Air and the Coral achievement. Okay. Hmm. It's not that much of a surprise, right? Between the Archibus and Balaam groups turn the tide of war. Devastating the planetary growth <laughs> administration forces and exiling them from Rubicon. The Their warships aren't that great, huh? Led by Balaam, that dealt the decisive blow. Archivists, through their own engagements with the PCA, augmented their wow. strength with seized weaponry. The balance of power was broken. The scales tipped in Archivists' favor. And the Rubicon Liberation Front's hopes of fighting an exhausted foe were dashed. With the loss of their common enemy, the rival factions' war for the Coral abruptly reignited. Go figure. And their bitter conflict burned with renewed intensity. Augmented human, C4621. Entering standard mode. We're in a new place. New messages. New hangar. Doing okay, 621. I'd wanted to let you rest some more, but the corpse are on the move already. With the PCA gone, it's back to work. Getting to where the coral's gathering. Do you remember the survey you carried out at Xylem? My friend analyzed the data learned about a massive facility under the central ice field. Watch point Alpha. Turns out that the ice worm was defending the entrance to that place. Hmm. It's time to let ourselves in. Raven, there's something you need to know. There's always something. That friend Walter mentioned. The comms database has no record of the conversation he just told you about. This isn't about just finding the cool, Raven. He's after something more, and he's using you to do it. Here on Rubicon. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. A rank virtual encounters are now available in the Oh arena. shit. May these encounters further guide your technique. That was the second message, right? <laughs> ah, new parts. What do we got? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me change it. Let me change back. See what we got. How's this compared to the below one I have? I wonder. Minimal need for reloading, huh?
Okay, it has a bigger magazine, has more... a bigger pool of rounds. But everything else is worse. <laughs> uh... Okay. Even the weight is worse. And even the weight in the end load is worse. I, I don't know why I would take this. Whoa, look at this handgun. <laughs> that barrel is huge. <laughs> look, at the, look at that magazine. <laughs> Little gem. Jamming bomb launcher. Huh. Interesting. New laser rifle. Laser shotgun. <laughs> yeah, one of the arena fights have that, right? Uh, there's still no, there's still no, still no uh, plasma rifle range too. Looks like. Like I have another plasma rifle I could use, but I can't, I can't say it's like a direct upgrade or anything. Laser lance. Neat. Oh, neat. Fuse laser cannon. Ah. <laughs> Arrow with the laser shotgun. Wow, that's a long charge time. That's interesting. Well, the missile launcher. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the one I got. And this doesn't. This isn't like immediately better. It's basically just a smaller version of it. Ooh, split missile launcher. Oh, cool. This, I, I think this would be better for arena fights, right? Maybe I should buy it? Even if I don't equip it, maybe I should buy it. Oh. <laughs> A lot of the secondary stats seem worse, though. Wait, how many times can I fire this? I can fire the pet, the 10 missile one 30 times, right? This I can fire 36 times, I think. Yeah, I think I think this will be a bit better for one-on-one -on -one fights. I'll buy it. I, I won't equip it, but I'll buy it. Oh, oh, a dual homing missile launcher. Nice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's a long, long lock on time. You don't don't use this for multi lock, right? You get a little drone buddy, nice. <laughs> this can't be that good, right? I refuse to believe it it's it's allowed to be that good. Wait, does the scan effect duration like completely separate from the scan standby time or does the scan standby time like count down while during the scan effect duration? I think it's separate. Plating. Uh, not good for firearms, huh? Good for melee. Pretty tanky. Oh, this is some big legs. <laughs> oh no, the jump. The jumps, though. <laughs> Quick boost, though, probably. Need an FCS. Oh, that's. <laughs> to give up a lot from the long range. Mm. Overburdened. I will say if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the weight, I would strongly consider just taking this. The penalties aren't that bad. <laughs> but the weight I can't, I can't, can't use it. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, 
should put like a mental note on that. Alright. Oh, well, that's that's enough window shopping, right? Uh, cool. Chapter 3 is finally done. Uh, new arenas to get to. Hmm. Probably a lot more dying to come, right? Chapter 4 is next. 